Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Running on Empty Beginners Pokemon League. This is week seven right now, the second to last week, and I am going to be battling that Kibbles. We are both currently tied for second place with a record of five and two, and in first place, still standing strong, is still Tig, who I will be battling next week for the final week. So I think the only way I could possibly beat him, actually, no, I don't think I can, because if I win today, I'll be 6-2, and two, he'll still be 7-1, and one. and then if he loses to me, yeah, no, if he loses to me, he'll be 7-2, and two, and I'll be 7-2, and two. so I have to win today and also win next week in order for me to be tied for first, so this is very clearly a Trick Room team, I don't really know how to, what to do against Trick Room teams all that well, I know I want to lead Corviknight for sure, Corviknight is definitely my lead for Trick Room teams, I get his home claws on turn 1, uh, because no matter what, even though like he has a lot of stuff that is super effective against me. And then I'm gonna go for the Grim Snarl. Just get some Thunder Waves off. We don't we don't need Draco on the back, especially because that Gastro, but he won't ever be going first. So we'll put Dragapult in the back, and then probably Dinner's Ready. His Dinner's Ready does pretty good against this team, except for Gastrodon, of course, and uh what is that? Rhyperior, I believe. So we're recording, right? Let's go ahead and hop right into this we've already had our good luck have funs and all that good stuff and uh just hoping for a good time right now let's see what we can do right now five and two in the league definitely definitely had a good turnaround from the beginning of this league I believe at one point i was 0 three or 0 four maybe maybe one and three oh and three something like that something rough oh yeah it was 0 three then we had a rematch because someone's uh jwa took over someone's spot i remember that all so clearly so Runerigus here is definitely going for the Trick Room. And Titar, I'm not really sure what he's going to be doing. But you guys thought about I brought Grimmsnarl for the Thunder Waves. But he can't really Thunder Wave too many things on that team, can he? Definitely can't Thunder Wave. And Thunder Wave the Ty Tyranitar, I believe. But if I go for a bulk up here. So what's this Titar going to do? Oh, actually he's Rock. And Rock is actually, ooh, I'm super, I'm quad. Quad loose the, that, don't I? So I think I'm going to switch to probably T-Tar here. Ooh, this is actually kind of rough. Is what is Iron has to be him against the T-Tar? Do I outspeed it, though? I doubt it. Can we just double up into that spot? I mean, let's do that, actually. Yeah, we're going to... I know this is going to be crazy, but if we just do that and then we Thunder Wave it, because it'll be paralyzed, so I'll definitely go first. Oh, wait, I thought Thunder Wave worked on rock, but just not ground. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, Thunder Wave is going to hurt. Okay, not that bad. Not that bad. Could have been worse. You know, honestly, I should have just went for the Home Claws. In a complete Franklin this. Okay. So, my Corvin and I went first that round, so he's not going to be going first this round anymore at all. He's going to be going for another Thunder Fang on me for sure. But I feel like I just need to... I'm going to Roost. He's going to go for another Thunderfang on me. And then I'm going to Reflect. I'm going to Roost and Reflect that Thunder Wave. Wow, I can't believe we are seven weeks into this. And I still don't know Thunder Wave doesn't work on Rock-type. I thought it just wasn't effective on Ground-type. I didn't know it had anything to do with Rock-type. And then the will o This is completely a support. Runarigus. I hate that so much. And now the Rock Slide. BC Boy avoided the attack. That's good. But Hunter's going to, you know, he's feeling the pain. But so far, though, I mean, that T-Tar's hit me with two pretty good moves. And, I mean, I was still doing good. And it's I'm going for the Home Claws. I'm going for the Home Claws this round. Yep, definitely for sure going for it. Because he's going to have to Dynamax to get rid of my Corviknight right here. I mean, he's just a big, big bulky boy. And if, uh, you know, if I Home Claws, or I keep saying Home Claws. I meant to say Bulk Up. Raises my defense even more. Plus, I have the reflect up. So, I'll go ahead, light screen, just in case he has anything else. Does he have anything? Oh, the Gastrodon could potentially. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the light screen as well. And then I'll play rough with Grim Snarl next turn. So let's see here. Use his body press. The double up into the score of a nice slap. Alright, so, oh, 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 Edgar is barking. He just heard a dog outside. We're just going to ignore him. Edgar, hey, good boy. 
We're gonna ignore him. He's gonna be a good boy. Hey. Can't have any distractions by Mr. Edgar Pants. Edgar, get down. No distractions this game. I guess distracts me one game in this series. Alright, so we're we're sitting at about half health right here. I don't have any protect moves though. Unfortunately. So what I'm gonna do in case I do happen to survive, I'm gonna roost and then I'm gonna play rough. If I do happen to survive, you know, we'll get that roost off. So let's just see. Let's just see what he does here. Because if I can get a roost off and then I can get an iron head off next round. Oh, he does go for the the Dynamax. I think he's just going to try to get rid of this Corviknight. You know, I don't really mind this all too much. I don't really mind this at all. Oh, on the Rune Rigus. Huh. This is definitely a different play, though. I thought he was going for the T-Tar slot. But what is he going to be doing here that he's doing the Rune Rigus? Max Knuckle. Yeah, that's definitely going to knock out my Corviknight. Oh my goodness, this doesn't even come close. Holy crap, doesn't even come close, dude. That's, this is a different play. I'm not sure. Is he just trying to get T-Tar's attack stat up? Thunder Fang, I feel like I'm going to live that still. I mean, with the bulk up. Still living that. Now we're going to roost, dude. This Corviknight is just going to say scary. Play rough. Almost knocks out the T-Tar. Edgar, I need you to behave, Bubba. Can't, can't have you distracted me right now. Oh, yeah. We're just going to, honestly, we're going to go for another roost and then another play rough. We're just going to keep Clover Knight alive and a nice distraction on the field. I'm going to see how many more turns of the Sandstorm we have a Bruin for us. I mean, this Reflect really saved us here. Sandstorm, this is the last turn of Sandstorm. So we're going to go for another Roost here. We're just going for the super long game. And then we're going to play rough into this Tyranitar slot. <laughs> I named his Rune, I guess, RuneScape. I just realized his nicknames. Nice. What a nice nickname for sure. So... Neither one of us know what each other has in the back, and so far he's kind of wasted a round of Dynamax. I know that he gave his Tyranitar an extra attack, but for one, he took it away, and two, it was down to one HP. So switch out Unbreakable, let's try Gastrodon. Oh, no. Rhyperior, and then another Max Knuckle. So he's going to get he's gonna get that Rhyperior to have big bulky boy now, our extra attack. Beastie Boy lives. I just don't know what this Rune Arrigus could do. Like, should I be worried about this guy? Actually, isn't my light wasn't my second light over here wasn't doing anything for me, and now this be roosting. Sandstorm is now gone, and so I don't know what this uh, right period can do. So I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what this right period can do. I am gonna do another bulk up. So far, he hasn't had anything that can even come close to touching me. And if I just keep raising, because I know this right period cannot be a special attacker. There's literally no way it's a special attacker. I'm gonna do another bulk up just to try to scare it, and then. Rapiri is rock ground. So actually I'm gonna switch to probably Stuart here. Yeah, because then I can do max uh, max overgrowth. So now Grimstar isn't gonna be able to do much. I honestly should not have brought him. I wasn't thinking uh Thunder Wave doesn't really affect I don't think almost any of his team at all. Thunder's going for another bulk up. My attack and my defense rose again. Going for another Max Knuckle does not affect me because I am a ghost type boy. He's going for the poison jab. That uh that definitely would have hurt Grimstar. Please don't poison me. Thank you. Alright, dude. That, was, that turned out to be a pretty good play. Now my corner knight is looking super good. And honestly, what does he have? His poison jab so far, he's out of Dynamax. I am gonna go for another. I'm just gonna keep bulking up literally. I'm just gonna guarantee myself a win here. Because I can just keep bulking up and roosting him. And then I feel like, does he have anything that can take a max overgrowth? Agent Slash can, right? Because he's still still Ghost. Gastronaut would get killed by it completely. Cooperaja can take it. So what I feel like we do, I feel like we just go for the, let's just go for the Shadow Ball play here. We're not even going to Dynamax yet. We don't need a Dynamax yet, do we? Actually, no, we don't need a Dynamax yet. Let's just hit this. Let's just see what he does first. Let's see if he switches before we Dynamax. Because I'm just concerned of him switching into a Kaparaja and taking a max overgrowth. I don't want him to be able to take. That's really good for me. Oh, crap. Is this thing going to trick room again? Oh, I didn't, I didn't put too much thought into that. I should have I should have Dynamaxed. Shadow Balled. Mm, that's kind of rough for me. Use Rock Breaker. I don't even know idea what this move even is. It looks like it's going to hurt. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, that hurt. That that ruins a lot of stuff for me, actually. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I don't want to. I don't want to bring in Rotom Heat yet. I don't. I do not want to bring in Rotom Heat yet. Because he is a fire type, and he will get blasted by these two. So we're gonna switch to Grimmsnarl to stall the Trick Room. Holy crap! I made. I made a drastically scary play. I should have Dynamaxed my... I should have 100% Dynamaxed my Dragapult there. So we're going to go ahead and Iron Head this right here. Get him out of my face because he's a scary boy. Just in case he lives, I guess we can double up into that slot. Must recharge. Okay, I was unaware of that. That's good. Play rough. Ooh, that sucks. There's not my play rough. is going to be... Slightly less durable. We'll be we'll be okay though. Get the play rough going. Yeah, that does nothing now. That does literally nothing now. But this iron head should do big boy damage, even on burns. Wow. Also just does nothing to them leftovers. Or is that a berry? Oh, weakness policy. Duh, not leftovers. I would have seen that the whole time. The rune organs has leftovers. Oh crap. Okay, this game. I'm gonna be honest, guys, I'm getting terrified. We're dynamaxing this round with Hunter. Absolutely dynamaxing with Hunter this round. BC boy, honestly, I'm going to have to sack you here. I need my Rotom Heat to be completely alive. So he can trick as well. That'd be really nice. Especially if I can trick. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I need to trick the Rune Rigus into trick rooming. So we're going to go for another Iron Head on you. And then we are just going to go for another Play Rough uh, also on you. And we're just going to have to see what happens. Poison Jab onto the Grim Snarl. Wow, it doesn't even go for the Corviknight at all. I thought he was for sure just going to take out the Corviknight with his weakness policy. Body press on Corviknight. We're doing good with that. I mean, we have like, what, four freaking bulk ups? So that is like almost absolutely nothing to me. There we go. Take you out. Now, now we're doing pretty good here. This right period doesn't have his weakness policy anymore. There's no more max knuckle problems. Besides, of course, I'm in that body press. But that's fine. Because this Runarigus, I wish I could see how many... Actually, I can't see, because it doesn't matter. I have to pick Rotom Wash anyway. I was going to say, I wish I could see how many rooms of Trick Room are left before I pick my mom. But I have to pick Rotom anyway. Oh, my my Reflect just went away too. That is definitely scary. That is definitely terrifying. All right, Tyranitar. Hello, Tyranitar. At this point... Sandstream. All right, so we're going to Dynamax. We're actually going to Dynamax the Rotom Heat here so we can get Sunny Day and get rid of the Sandstream. And then also, if he does have... It Trick Room still has two turns left. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to Iron Head this Tyranitar. Because this Runarigus can just live. And then we're going to Dynamax here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a Sunny Day up for one. Tyranitar's 100% going down, obviously. Runarigus might go down too. But if Runarigus doesn't go down, then... There will be no more Sandstream. Don't gonna worry about that. My Max Furs will do extra damage, especially if he has a Gastrodon in the back. And if his Runarigus is still alive and Trick Room goes away and my Dynamax goes away, then I can just use Trick on whoever I want because I obviously outspeed his whole team. And if I can Trick his Runarigus into Trick Rooming, then we'll be good there because he'll just have to reverse his own Trick Room. So I think this is 100% the play. Corviknight does not need to be Dynamax. I mean, he's already a big bulky boy and he's living everything. His team is basically all physical attackers except for the Gastrodon. And that Gastrodon is not going to do anything to me. Rock Slide is going to hurt. Please live that. Thank you. No flinches. Actually, I can't, can't be flinched when you're Dynamax. So we're doing really good here. Big plays right here. You're going down. I just don't know if this Runarigus, I don't know how he does against a Dynamax move. I feel like he's going to be a bulky boy though and he's going to 100% live this. I'm just glad that this Sand is going to be going away. He does not live that. Okay. So we are going to be down to... How many Mons has he showed me? He showed me three Mons. Rhyperior, he showed me. He showed me Tyranitar, and he showed me Runarigus. So who's the fourth Mon he hasn't shown me? Who has he not shown me yet? Nice screen wore off. That's whatever. Is it going to be Gastrodon? I mean, that's fine with me because, <laughs> you know, I got Sunny Day up. Gastrodon is his, dog. We're doing good here. Actually, we're not doing that great because he, I'm going to, I need to roost here and I need to max guard here because I need to get rid of this trick room. 
for sure. And he can, whatever move I do on him, he can just recover it. There we go. Perfect. Get a nice roost going. And honestly, I feel like I need to go for another max guard. Actually, wait. Hold on. I don't want to be Dynamax because I want to trick him. Right? Actually, I don't want to trick him yet. I want to trick him when he recover. Uh, not into recover. What do I want to trick him into? Let's just go for a Brave Bird. I don't want to max guard. I could max guard and go for the double. Did I just go for the double protect? Because I feel like a skull is going to hurt. Ah, uh, we go first. We're not going to do it. Because the trick room's done something. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We're going to just hit him with the max flare. Even though it's not going to do a ton of damage. Let's still do enough. I mean, it isn't a sunny day. So it's going to do, I mean, did more than I was hoping. It did more than a third. Brave Bird should do a whole bunch here. I hope. Please, Brave Bird. Please do a whole bunch. Not nearly enough. Although, so this next turn, I should win with a... Oh, we're definitely winning now. That, now that that didn't kill him. Because he can't trick room. I'm sure he doesn't have protect. Whether he has protect or not, he cannot recover before I hit him with another Brave Bird and an Overheat. So we're doing good. We are definitely doing good here. Overheat has 100% accuracy or does it have 90? I need to check that. That's the only thing that is scary because Brave Bird does have 100% accuracy. I just got to check Overheat. It has 90. So as long as this Overheat doesn't miss, even if it does miss, we should still be good. I mean, Brave Bird does a lot. All right, doesn't miss anyway, so we are good. We are officially winning. We are, Oh, that just knocks him out because it's a sunny day. Let's go. So I have officially won. Week 7 of the Running on YouTube Beginners Pokemon League. I am now 6-2. and two. Cody, my opponent, is 7-1. and one. I don't remember if he's done his match or not. Oh, he had to have done his match. So next week, we'll decide if I won, if I get come in second place in this season or if I tie for first. That is the best I can do right now for the league. And that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for stopping by. I'll see you later.